Hi there, welcome to Woodpecker. Here's how to get started. Once you've downloaded Woodpecker, you should see it in your ribbon like this. Click the button to open it up. I'm using a simple services agreement here, but you can use any document such as a contract, legal document, status report, or anything else. To get started, we'll go through the series of walkthrough steps and we'll create our first field. Our first field will be named client name, that's just the default value. Then we're going to insert the field into our document. I'm going to select where client name is already in my document and Wordpecker will insert the field there. Click insert. You can see the client name gets inserted right into the document. We're then going to give it a value. The default is John Smith. Let's just keep it that way. We'll click fill in and we'll see that Woodpecker has filled in John Smith for the client name field. Next, we'll create a free account to get started. Now that we've gotten started, we'll see a series of walkthrough steps where we'll get introduced to the various features of the Woodpecker interface. We have our first field that we've created here, but we can go over to manage fields to create some more. Let's create a date field for today's date. It's going to create name it today's date, date type field, the format will be with the day, let's have the default be today, we'll click save, and now we've created a second field. Let's go over to populate to insert it. To insert a field, just select text in your document, and then go over to the plus button next to the field name. Click the plus button and you'll see that your field gets inserted right into the document. Let's create another field for service provider. I'll go over to manage fields, click create, call it service provider. The field type will be text, no default, click save, come over to populate, and then I'm going to select the service provider text in the document. Click the plus next to service provider and I'll see that Woodpecker has inserted my field directly into the document. Now what I'm going to do is demonstrate how Woodpecker will fill in all these fields for me. So let's change this from John Smith to Jane Adams. And today's date, maybe it's the 23rd. Service provider, professional services, LLC. To fill in all the fields, I'm just gonna go down here and click save. We'll see that Woodpecker fills in all my fields for me right inside the document. You can have your fields show up any number of times in your document. For example, if I were to go down to the bottom and see this date, I could also have that be today's date. So I would select the text in the document, click the plus icon next to today's date, and Woodpecker would insert my date here. Now whenever I change it, click Save, Woodpecker fills in the date for me across all instances of my today's date field. To manage your fields, you can go over to the Manage Fields tab, reorder them, edit their names, field types, and default values. If you ever have any questions, you can go to the menu and click on Chat with Support. We're always available to answer questions or help you out in any way we can.